I am back again. So, uh, <laughs> hello, how are you guys? I've not been present on the channel recently just because I've been working on some stuff behind the scenes, which is pretty exciting. Um, so when that all comes into motion, that'd be great. But I hope you guys are well. It is nice to be back making another video. The reason for today's video is because Acer quite generously sent me about 10 different boxes in the post of Concept D devices. Uh, a beautiful monitor that I've been religiously playing cyberpunk on and doing work things on, uh, but mainly, play, <laughs> mainly actually playing games on because it's 4K and more than just 4K, the colors are just out of this planet. I'm gonna try and show a shot now on the screen, but my camera's not gonna pick it up, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. Um, and then they sent me about four different desktops for the Concept D line, which I'm gonna be talking about today. Um, Concept D, if you don't know already, I should probably mention what that is, right? Concept D are Ace's line of products that are made for creative people, creative person, people in hmm, jobs where they're gonna need some kind of graphics capability. So your architects, engineers, your videographers, your photographers, photographers, uh, all those kind of people that need some kind of graphics capability, but don't wanna buy like a gaming branded laptop because it's a little, it's a bit aggressive to bring into the office, do you know what I mean? So. These are some nice stylish kind of Concept D devices for creative people in mind. They sent me four of these different desktops, which I'm going to be talking about today. And they sent me, I think, four different laptops, but I have been playing around with them and they're, they're in different areas of my house that I don't I haven't quite located where all of them are. I haven't lost them, I just don't know where they are. So, <laughs> the first video we're going to be doing is about the PCs. Next one will be about the, the laptops, I guess, if I can find all of them. And maybe one maybe one about the monitor, just because it is really nice. It's so nice. I'm just gonna include, I'll, there'll be some shots in this video somewhere of the monitor, and you can just you can see for yourselves there. So, let's talk Concept D. So like I said, I have four different desktops with me today. There are five currently in the line. The 100, 300, 500, 700, all of which I have, and then the big Kahuna 900, which I don't have, which, when I looked it up online, I was like, why am I missing one? Um, because it's like 20 grand and it's probably too expensive to trust me with, which is also fair enough. And it comes with like 40 cores and all the RAM. And anyway, if you're, if you're, if you really, if you have that kind of money to spend and you have, if you have this kind of professional workstation, then I'm sure you will find it yourself. You are not watching my YouTube videos. So that's fine. I have the four more affordable ones, the 100, 300, 500 and 700. They're all pretty powerful. The one I have here is the 100. Look how, Look how little that is. They start off very nice and small and then just explode. So let's get into that. Actually, one quick thing. There's a few things I really like about the PCs that you actually get with all of them. So I'm just gonna mention them now quickly. Firstly, all of the Concept D PCs come with three months free of Adobe Creative Cloud, which is just amazing. The sheer amount of money I could have saved. Never mind, it's fine. Um, but it's really good to see because regardless of what you're gonna be doing on the PCs, you're gonna be using Adobe at some point, I think. Uh, they also have three years warranty included, but you know, peace of mind, which is great. And I want to quickly mention the packaging. The, the packaging's really nice. It's 100% plastic free. Everything is just packaged up neatly in boxes, which makes sense. <laughs> it does make sense. Um, and it's made up of 90% recycled materials. I think it's paper, um, poly, the, the poly ones as well. And they even use soy ink to print on the front, which is just nice thing to see. I believe this one actually won an award for the packaging. I think it was, I think it was like the red dot winner. Um, but yeah, really nice to see. And another quick note on the specs, in terms of the graphics, the towers come with the option of NVIDIA's Quadro cards, which if you're doing professional work on the device, is great because you have more dedicated graphics memory, drivers validated for specific professional applications, and it's just generally reliable. It's the most precise when it comes to calculations with the least chance of random errors. So I would just, I'm, I'm adding this all in now because it feels like everything's definitely designed for the workstation to just work really efficiently. With the warranty, you get three months free of Adobe Creative Cloud. You can have Quadro graphics cards as well. And then the packaging is just, I, just, I really like the packaging. Anyway, now let's get started. So let's start off with the Concept D100. This model here is the CM100 and it is ickle. It's, it's so small weight. I don't think you can really see because of the perspective. Look at this. Look, it's, it's it only weighs around like, I don't know, five kilos. That's not really something you think about when getting a desktop, I know, but, um, it, is, but it is quite small. Um, uh, this one is around, I don't know how long it, how wide it is. It's, I would say it's probably around like 10 centimeters wide. 
just to just to put it into perspective because when I put this on my desk my desk is it's not only really a desk it's a dining table that I'm using as a desk because I want a bigger table um, but it does look like it looks so small when you first look at it you're like what is that but yeah no it's concept d100 and it is it, there is some power inside this baby but we're gonna get into that in a second Let, I just want to talk about the form for a start because this is like this is great if you need any kind of like if you're, if you're at home but you don't really have you don't have a dining table to work on you have a tiny little desk to work on you need something that's going to space space saving tiny small form factor something with a small form factor that can just sit there nicely but also if you're decking out like an office or, or a very very lucky classroom just to have these all stacked up very nicely in a row doesn't take up much room and it looks they just look good and like cool and uniformy Anyway, so this one, the power behind this one, you can, it's powerful enough to do any kind of 2D creative work and entry level 3D CAD work. So the one I have here with me today is powered by a 9th gen Intel Core i7 processor and it has NVIDIA's Quadro P1000 graphics card, which is a great teeny tiny workstation graphics card with four mini display port connectors. So you can use the attached adapters because you get, I think you get like four or something in the pack with this, with this here PC. So you can connect it up to four, 4K displays, four 4K displays, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> uh, it also comes with some handy to reach ports at the front, like an SD card reader, and amongst other things, I think you have a USB Type-C there as well too, um, which is all found on the front vent panel, which is, obviously it doesn't just look nice, but aids cooling. I feel like that's probably the main objective here, but it does look also pretty cool too. And the whole thing's designed to work at less than 40 decibels, even with, even with this cooling, because the cooling is quite a main factor in the Concept D range but it's all designed to work at less than 40 decibels which apparently is the volume of a library room which i i hear are very peaceful i don't know i've not been to one for a while i've been at home um, and it's also isv certified by autodesk adobe and autocad right so <laughs> i have to laugh because in comparison this one looks like an absolute chonker it's not it's just the size of a regular regular pc it looks bigger than me though um, so this one here is the concept d 300 <laughs> Uh, and yes, it's quite a bit bigger, um, but it still has it has this nice like the Concept D brand is this kind of generally white and all kind of these like with the tapered edges and you have this like really sleek triangular vents at the front and the top panel of this is stunning because they've used this like wood effect which is prevalent in this one but also the two that are above this uh, in in the series the 300 the 500 and the 700 they all have this wood effect panel which looks it looks very realistic. Tell me that's not, it's not real, it's obviously not real wood. Okay, but it's, it, it does look, it looks pretty good. And this on this table, I just, I love it, I'm here for it. Anyway, so it's a lot bigger to house a lot more power because this one is absolutely gonna, I need to stop smacking it. This one is gonna breeze through all your video editing, animating, 3D software. You're probably not doing all of those three things, but you know, you can, and maybe you can do them all at once too. So I think the one I have is an older model because it's no longer available online. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm gonna go through the up-to-date specs for the up-to-date model, the most recent model, the 2020 model, because it recently got a refresh this October and it's exciting because it'll be housing a 10th gen Intel Core i7 processor, which is fab and exciting an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. So the size and the extra cooling is definitely starting to make a lot more sense now. And with it being a GeForce card, you not only have obviously the graphics capabilities, but also real-time ray tracing. And it's also ISV certified as well for Adobe, Autodesk, and Ansys, Altair, and PTC. I'm gonna say all these names wrong, so just, just putting that out there. And it still operates at less than 40 decibels. Peaceful, peaceful gaming. I need to move the camera. This isn't gonna work, is it? Is this good? Is it? <laughs> Are you good, sir? <laughs> it's massive. This is the Concept D500 and there's no way for me to sit next to it and for it not to look ridiculous. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna talk and hopefully you won't notice. Um, so this is the Concept D500 and it's actually not that much bigger than the last one. It's the same amount of skinny, uh, but it's just got a bit of height at the, at, at the top. Uh, it's just a little bit taller, but it still has the same like, you got like the white metal body, you have like these triangular vents at the front, the ports from the front have been moved to the top. Now instead you have headphone stand. Oh, it's not just a pretty face this one, it has some nifty features. You have all your ports at the top, not all your ports, it's just easy to access kind of ones, you know, so you're not like fiddling around the back uh, trying to find audio jacks and stuff. And you have like light indicators which indicate if if something's going wrong, like they're like health indicators, I don't know, health indicators, is that right? Is that right what to call it? Yeah. You have the wood panel again. I love this. This is the same looking wood as the last one. 
oak and leaf. <laughs> I don't know, but it is that same kind of looking wood. Um, but yeah, and it also has wireless charging at the top. You have headphones and wireless charging. You have cable management in the bag, in the, in the back, in the bag, in the back, and it's in the bag. Um, all in all, this is like a, it's just a sleek looking, fresh looking white monolith. That's like cable management, boom. Don't, we're not having any cables here today. Not today, sorry. We're gonna take them all away. And it's just gonna look nice. I can't use this one as an armrest. I was doing that with the first one, but this one, mm, not so much. It looks like something from the future, doesn't it? That's how, that's how I look at these. I'm like, oh wow. This is what I imagine all robots are gonna look like in the future when we're living in like assisted living. And this is what's gonna look after. <laughs> Let me get into the specs. So it comes with an overclockable 9th gen octa-core i9 which can power through basically whatever you throw at it and it should keep your work smooth and stable too. For graphics, this one is packing a GeForce RTX 2070, again suited for both creative work and gaming, or you could have the option of having one of Nvidia's Quadro cards instead with the RTX 4000 being particularly powerful for demanding computations, complex rendering and real-time ray tracing. So if you if you have some really demanding kind of professional work, then maybe the Quadro cards are better suited for you. And it also comes with onboard monitoring, so you can monitor how the system is doing, which is a feature you get with some of the other Acer products. You get it with the Predator and you also get it with the Nitro Lions as well, but it's good to see that in these as well, because I think that is something that's quite important, especially when you're doing quite demanding work. You want to make sure everything's running okay. And it's also ISV certified to meet the demands of a lot of people. <laughs> I'm just going to say that so I don't have to list all the all the different programs. It's going to meet the demands of engineers, architects, animators. I think so. Let me know down below if you're any one of those because actually I am not any one of those. So I, I don't know, but I assume it will meet the demands of you. And it can all work in less than 40 decibels. 40 decibels. That is quiet. I don't know if it's this quiet because I don't know what 40 decibels actually sounds like. But I think it's pretty quiet. So it's the 500, but in dark wood. No, it's not. This is the 700. And although the wood on the top has changed, the rest of the design has stayed the same. That was risky. Why did I do that? Um, but also now it is way more powerful. So this is for like, if, if, if I'm going to rank all four of them, it's gone from good to great to brilliant. This isn't a really good ranking system, but basically <laughs> this one, the end one is you want you want to be able to do the most intensive work and you want to be able to do it without crashes, system failures. You want to be able to do it or you want it to be able to run smoothly with the most stability for the least chance of errors. This is the one you're going to use because this one also has the Intel Xeon processors. Hella power, hella power, all in this like lovely design with dark wood. Did I mention? This is optimized for photorealistic modeling, 3D work, feature length video production. You name it, this baby can do it. It is powered by the latest Intel Xeon octa-core processor, which is obviously not only super speedy and powerful, but also with its ECC memory or error correcting code memory, it also gives you the peace of mind if you work with critical data where you can't really afford the system to have like a sudden shutdown or, you know, a little bit of a meltdown or any kind of data corruption. So yes, it's also super speedy for those big workloads, but also very reliable. It's secure, it gives you that peace of mind, you know? So in terms of the graphics, you have a few different options. You uh, essentially three different routes you can go down. You can have the GeForce Super cards, you can have Nvidia's Quadro cards, or you could have almost, is it the best of both worlds? I don't know, but you can have the Quadro RTX cards with the top line being the Quadro RTX 4000 to bring real life ray tracing to professional workstations. And you can connect it to four 8K displays with HDR support, four 8K displays. Are you gonna do that? Maybe, I don't know, I don't, I don't wanna judge you. And again, somehow this all manages to run at less than 40 decibels with vents throughout, literally on all the sides. The design is exactly the same as the last one as the 500, there's vents all around it to keep it all running nice and cool. And you still have this snazzy headset stand, the wireless charging, and you can easily have a poke around the inside, which is just nice as well from like a future proofing sense. And it's ISV certified by everything. I'm not gonna read them out, let me know if you, no, some of them down below. <laughs> but yes, I used to be satisfied by basically everything. So really, if you need a top of the line workstation with the security, the ease of use, the reliability, then this is the one. So that is all from me and the Concept D PCs. Let me know what you think down below and let me know if you're in any of these fields, which one would be for you? How powerful do you need it to be? I like the Concept D range. I think it's unique and it's well designed. It, they've won all the awards. So you don't, have to, you don't even need me to tell you it's well designed. The awards will tell you that too. I like the packaging aspect. I don't know why, that's, that's just something that really like rings true with me. And also they just, they look pretty cool, don't they? They look cool, that's how I describe it. The chic, futuristic, 
cool. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Let me know which one is for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Yes, you will. Yes, yes, I will. I've still got one more to make about Concept D laptops. Anyway, that's all from me. See you next time.